My name is uh, Dr. Joanne Garinzer, and I'm the executive director of the Eden 2 programs. Um, I've been here for 32 years, and this building really is the culmination of a dream that we've had for a long time. We always knew we needed more space because uh, the program has grown so much over the last 30 years. Uh, I think a lot of that has to do, obviously, with the fact that autism has become such a high incident disorder. And so about 10 years ago, we began looking for space. Uh, we located this building here in beautiful Stapleton um, and began to make plans for the building. Uh, the, the original plans were really, it was gonna be a traditional school building for our teenagers and young adults. My, my feeling is if you have a classroom with desks and tables and chairs, then that's where you'll do your work. Teachers will teach at tables and chairs if that's all they have available to them. So this building really is what I believe and, and what we here at Eden do believe is what should be available for teenagers, especially teenagers uh, with significant autism, because in order for them to truly be independent when they turn 21, they need to work on these things for a long time. So it is our responsibility as an education program to make sure that we're giving these young men and women all the skills that they need in order to be independent, successful adults. We want them to be able to be independent at home. So we have two classrooms that are apartment style classrooms. So the classroom looks and is a real apartment. There's a bedroom, there's a living room, there's a dining room, there's a bathroom that has a full-size shower. This environment will offer us no excuses. These young men and women, when they turn 21, will know how to shower themselves. They will know how to prepare a meal. They will know how to use their utensils and, and cut their food and eat independently. I don't care how challenged they are with their autism. If we have 10 years, we're gonna use those 10 years to make sure these young men and women are capable of being independent adults. We wanna make sure that everything in this building has a long-term purpose, has the ability to transfer to something in the community. We think it's going to be a model for the type of services that adolescents and young adults with autism need. We have to do something to better prepare our young men and women with autism to live in the world with the kinds of funding models that are gonna be out there. Um, so this is what we believe is necessary to ensure that they're gonna have the highest quality of life. Um, and the other thing that we think is really important is that we are in a community that is very open to having our young men and women be part of that community. There's so much about this building that we see as just exciting and what we think is necessary to prepare young men and women with autism to be able to function in the world that they're going to be living in. Um, there are more and more and more people being diagnosed with autism, which means there are more and more and more people entering the world of adult services. Funding is gonna be very, very challenged, so we need to make sure that we do our part and prepare these teens to be able to function independently in the world, and that's what we believe this building will do.